What's up guys? It's John Muscarello from Side Hustle Experiment. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for coming here. If you're new here, I sell used books and media on Amazon and eBay. And today I get so many questions about what it's like to, what's a good uh, accept rate for Gaylords? How do you know if you got good ones? How many should I buy? So I'm gonna cover that in this video today. So I just got a delivery today. And before we get started, if you could like the channel, subscribe, I greatly appreciate it, it really helps. So today I got a delivery. I get about, this is what, two, four, six, eight, we did three. So I get about 11 to 12 at a time. And to be honest, today started off terrible. The books came late. Uh, they came about two, three hours late. The helper was here. I didn't really have much for him to do because I thought they were coming earlier. Um, but this is really what going through Gaylords of Books is like. So the first two we went through, we went through two, and we got about this many books. So as you can see here, there's probably, I don't know, 10 books here. And there might have been like another five on the other card. So like, terrible. Like there just was a lot of actually kids books in there, which will sell. There are some like video games, some eBay stuff, but there was just not a lot of good books. Then I open, we dump another one. We dumped the last one and we're going through the books and it's getting a little better. And then, this a $20 bill flies out of one of the books and it was crazy I was like oh wow like I was literally going like this I was literally going to toss the book across there into the dud one and the $20 bill fell out after that happened everything got better it was crazy so we went from this over here to this, over there, over there, and then all these over here. And all these books are like old, not old, but they're like War World II uh, pilot books at like $20, $30 profit books. It was insane uh, how many great books came out of this one. And that's why I'm making this video. A lot of people say, oh, I bought one Gaylord. It sucked, bulk is not for me. With everything going on with the restock limits, yeah, like bulk might not be the best play right now. But for those doing it or just getting started who do have some space to, you know, still be able to buy bulk books, realize that, you know, in the 12 that I buy, um, like 50% of the books aren't usable. Like that's the percentage. And that's not saying 50% go to Amazon. Um, I would say probably 10 to 20% ish go to Amazon. Another, so 10 to 20, probably 20% go to buyback companies. We work with sell back your book and zip it. And then the rest go to, we have a person who buys history books, and we have a person who buys uh, kids books, and then probably like, I don't know, I think I'm over 50%, but there is another person who buys uh, all the DVD duds. So we do a good job of utilizing a lot of it, um, but that's what I want to talk to you today. And this really goes for reselling as well. There's just like a lot of ups and downs. This morning was not good. The books came late. Uh, the first two Gaylords were terrible. All of a sudden, the supplier who came today wants to come again tomorrow, um, <clears throat> which would be awesome. But now with the restock limits, it's not that great. I got a call from someone else today uh, who has 24 Gaylords that they're trying to move. Um, so yeah, it was just kind of crazy. And like, it was just kind of like, oh man, with the restock limits, like, should I do this? And, but I'm gonna do, well, the supplier that I normally have is coming tomorrow. I still have to work out something with this other one, um, but I'll get back to them tomorrow. But yeah, I mean, this is how reselling goes, guys. Um, 
It's not all $800 books and hanging out, shooting videos, talking about that. Flips for Miles posted the tour we did of my warehouse. I will link to that in the bio. Make sure to check that out. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of hard work. It's a lot of just hanging in there. Like this restock limit stuff is crazy. Uh, we don't really know what's gonna happen, um, but it is what it is. I mean, we're making the best of it. We are selling more on eBay. And that was another thing that happened today. I haven't really had any sales on eBay. Um, the last two days have been terrible, but then all of a sudden I sold about, I don't know, two, $300 worth of stuff on there. Just like that. It's just a time game. You gotta take it as it comes. When it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it's bad. Um, most of the time you end up in the middle. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I have for you guys. Actually, I'll go one more step. So if you do want to buy Gaylords, if you are, you know, currently have like storage to do so, I'd recommend buying six to eight. Six to eight Gaylords will basically, I feel like that's a good mix. I mean, you won't have to spend too much money. If you got to rent a truck, uh, you could kind of eat the costs spread that over eight, you know, not great, but to get started and kind of get a taste for it, it will work. Uh, you'd probably want to have a storage unit uh, to go through them. Another thing you could do, uh, which shout out to Latin Pickers, they started, go follow them on Instagram. Uh, what they did, they didn't get a storage unit. They actually just worked out of the back of the truck. Uh, I have done that before. I did that for my first or second one, I think. Uh, but then I got a storage unit uh, for the next couple of batches I ended up doing. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my tips today for, you know, how to really, how sorting Gaylords really goes. It's not like you see all these clowns on YouTube saying that they have, or Instagram rather, 20, 30% accept rate or four, like I have that rate, but it's not going to Amazon. It's going to buyback companies. It's going to uh, Amazon, some of it. It's going to dud companies. It's go like, it's just not as it appears. Um, so yeah. Just be careful looking at stuff like that. I mean, if you're, I would say, a good ballpark figure, you wanna be anywhere from like eight to 12. Um, and you wanna be paying anywhere from five to 10 cents a pound. It really depends. If you're dealing directly with a source at the time of this video, you're probably looking about five or six cents a pound. If you're using a broker, um, and that's without freight, um, if you're using a broker, probably closer to like eight to nine because those guys need a penny or two to make the deal worth it for them. And then if you're getting them from another place, you also have to lop and freight on top of that, which can be anywhere from, I don't know, a thousand to $1,300, just depending on where the books are coming from or where you're located or what your plan is, whether you get an LTL truck or could unload it. Most of you probably need an LTL truck, which means a truck with a lift gate. And those are probably the basic tips. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, follow, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page. It means a ton to me. Always on Instagram, answering questions in the DMs. So feel free to do that as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.